welcome you all to part one of the chapter units and measurements this session will be on physical quantities in day to day life we come across many quantities some are measurable and some are not the quantities which can be measured are called as physical quantities and the quantities which cannot be measured are called as non physical quantities let us take some examples when you get up early in the morning the first thing what you do is you measure the time you just see the clock it's 7 o'clock then you get up so you measure the time so time is a quantity which can be measured so time is a physical quantity when you come out of your bedroom you see a milkman standing there so you ask him to give 2 liters of milk so what did you measure there you measured the volume of the milk you want so volume is a physical quantity you see through the window there is a vegetable vendor standing you go out and ask him to give 3 kg of onion then here what did you measure you measured the mass of the onion so mass is a physical quantity you come inside to your home your mom says it is the first day of your college go and bath and when you go into the bathroom you just check out how much hot the water is then what did you measure you measure the quantity of heat so heat is a physical quantity so you dress up and come out your mother says you are looking too beautiful today how much beautiful you are looking can it be measured no so beautiful is not a physical quantity it is a non physical quantity your mom, mother says to have a breakfast you go and you will have a breakfast and you get energy can it be measured yes it depends upon how much you eat and what you eat so energy can be measured so energy is a physical quantity you tell to your mom that college is 5 kilometers away from the home then what did you tell her you measured the distance between home and the college so distance is a physical quantity as the distance is far you tell that you want to take bike to the college so you take a bike key and uh, you sit down it and you just go to the college why are you going you are going with a normal speed speed yes it can be measured so the speedometer tells how much speed the bike is so speed is a physical quantity and suddenly you remember that only 5 minutes is remaining to the college to start suddenly you exhilarate the bike so what did you do you exhilarate means acceleration yes it is a physical quantity it can be measured it depends upon how much speed you change in how much time so acceleration is a physical quantity so you go to the college you park the bike and come and stand in front of the gate there is a <clears throat> gatekeeper he comes and uh, he gives you a sanitizer and keep uh, a thermometer gun in front of you what did he measure he measured the temperature of the body so temperature yes it is a physical quantity you ask him how much uh, big the playground is he says that the playground is 4 acres then what did he measure he measured the area of the playground so area yes it is a physical quantity you go to the college and you meet your friends and you attend all the lectures the lectures will be awesome and you like the environment of the college and you are too much happy happiness can it be measured no you cannot measure the happiness so it is not a physical quantity and you come back to home and you tell your mom that the college is too good and i love the college love can it be measured no it cannot be measured so love is not a physical quantity so like this in day to day life we will find many quantities which can be measured and which cannot be measured the quantities which can be measured are called as physical quantities and that is the first topic that we will be studying today what is a physical quantity a quantity which can be measured is called physical quantity example length for example if i want to take to measure what is the length of this chalk so i can measure it by a scale so i have measured the length so length is a physical quantity mass yes it is a physical quantity mass of the onion you took time yes that is a physical quantity area area of the playground volume volume of the milk speed speed of the bike yes these are the quantities which can be measured so they are physical quantities again these physical quantities can be divided into two types types of physical quantities one is fundamental and another one is derived so what are fundamental quantities the quantities which do not depend upon any other quantities so these are the quantities which are independent of other physical quantities are called fundamental quantities or they are also called as basic quantities 
they do not depend upon any other quantities. For example, length. Okay, if I want to measure the length of the chalk, I need to measure length itself. It does not depend upon any other quantities. Mass, yes, I need to measure only the mass. Time, yes, I need to measure the time. Directly we will be getting. Like for example, if I take what is the area of this blackboard, if I ask. First, what you will be doing? You will be measuring uh, the length. Then you will be measuring the breadth. Then you will be multiplying this length and breadth. Then you get the area. Means area is a quantity which depends upon two quantities. What are those? Length and breadth. So area is not fundamental. It is derived quantities. Do you understand? So area derived quantities depends upon other quantities. Fundamental quantities do not depend upon other quantities. They are the basic quantities. Quantities which are derived from fundamental quantities. So these quantities are derived from these quantities. So those quantities are called as derived quantities. For example, if I take area, area is length into breadth. So length into breadth, they are the other forms of length itself. So again, this is a derived quantity. If I want to take volume, length into breadth into height. So it depends upon three quantities, length into breadth into height, right? So length, breadth and height, they are again the forms of length itself. So it depends upon these quantities. So volume is a derived quantity. Next, speed. Yes, speed. It depends upon the distance and time. How much distance you covered in how much time? Are you right. So it depends upon distance as well as time. Speed equal to distance divided by time taken. Distance is a form of length, time taken. So if you divide distance by time, you will be getting speed. And speed depends upon these quantities. So the, if the quantities depends upon the fundamental quantities, those quantities are called as derived quantities. So physical quantities are of two types. One is fundamental and another one is derived. To measure physical quantities, some standards were required. For example, if you want to measure uh, the volume of the milk, you use liter. So liter was a standard used to measure the volume of the milk. To measure the mass of the onions, you used kg, that is kilogram. So that was the standard used to measure the mass. Like this, all the physical quantities have certain standard which are used to measure them. So those standards are called as units. That will be the next session. So what is a unit? It is a standard used to measure a physical quantity. So that standard is called as a unit. For example, if you want to measure length, you can measure in meter or foot or inch, depending upon the convenience. So these are the units of length. Mass can be measured in kilogram or pounds. So these are the units of mass. Time can be measured in second or day or year depending upon the duration. So these are the units of time. Speed can be measured in meter per second or it can also be measured in kilometer per hour. So these are the units of speed. Now let us move on to the system of units. In earlier days, different countries used different system of units. Let us study some of them. There is common system of units used where CGS, FPS in the MK system. What is CGS system of unit? It is a system of unit in which length is measured in centimeter, mass is measured in gram, time is measured in second. So this kind of system is called as CGS system. Centimeter, gram, second. Now let us move on to the FPS. FPS system is a system in which length is measured in foot, mass is measured in pounds, time is measured in second. So the name F P S that is FPS system. Third one, MK system of units. Length is measured in meter, mass is measured in kilogram, time is measured in second. So this kind of system is called as MKS system. Now let us take an example. Let us find what is the CGS unit of area. What is the formula for area? Length into breadth. Centimeter into centimeter. So what is the unit now? Centimeter square. What is the FPS unit of area? So length into breadth, foot into foot. So what do you be, will be getting? Foot square. What is the MKS unit of area? Length into breadth, meter into meter. So what do you will be getting? Meter square. Depending upon units used to measure length, mass and time, these systems were divided. So now we are not using this kind of system. We will be using a SI system. Extended system of MK system is SI system. So we will be studying about a SI system in the next session. Right? Thank you.